नमस्ते ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर राजकुमार एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर राजीव गांधी आयुर्वेद मेडिकल कॉलेज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पुदुचेरी माही आई एम हियर टुडे टू क्लैरिफाई ऑन सर्टन फैक्ट्स ऑन आयुर्वेदिक साइंस आई हैव सीन वन वीडियो बाय डॉक्टर एबी फिलिप ही इज मेंशनिंग अबाउट हेपेटोटॉक्सिसिटी और हेवी मेटल स्टडी on ayurvedic or herbal formulations were done by him so hepatic tox toxic action of herbal formulations were explained by that dr ab philip in that video and in the internet also you can see so many sites mentioning about the toxic effects of herbal medicine i would like to clarify that that this study is utterly wrong as per ayurvedic science how i will explain with three four points like first one is the research methodology in ayurveda is to be incorporated to study heavy metal if present or if it is having any effect on the human body so if a herb or formulation is to be analyzed it is to be analyzed with ayurvedic research methodology right ayurvedic science depicts on living beings or human beings with their ever changing environment so they are having a highly dynamic environment so homeostatic mechanisms which are different in different individuals are acting to produce functional in equilibrium in that subject so it is highly variable so ayurveda explains this dynamic body with tridosha siddhanta so that the functional status could be uh, assessed or it it could be inferred that is the siddhanta or theorem that which explains the functional status of human body so also the most efficient method to identify interaction of external factors or herbs or formulations is with actions or functions of the external factor in that dynamic body so that is also assessed in that dynamic body itself it is not uh, externally or in vitro it is not studied so both these things functional status of the herb or formulation as well as functional status of human body both are equally important in scientific ayurvedic research two factors are known aushadha the herbal formulation in ayurveda is aushadha aushadha is ed aarogyaya kalpade so it will be acting against the cause mechanisms and it is intended to produce health so it is not any suppression or altering the mechanisms or suppressing the symptoms so its action is to remove the cause and mechanism and finally produce health or final objective of the non aushadha is to produce health so first thing that is to be known is aushadha should be known it is from the science we are choosing the aushadha so it is not an unknown compound and second one is the state and stage of the disease and the patient should be known well known so that the medicine can be administered in the most apt way so both these are studied in proper way that aushadha is to be known by nama roopa gunai stripihi which is mentioned in our science is it should be known known by its name form and action action is uh, it is being explained in the science in that manner sir like karma pistu anmiyante nana dravya shreya gunaha so all the herbs are mentioned with their uh, action which they are supposed to produce in the body or the effects of those herbs in the body or formulation in the body is explained but that alone is not enough we have to assess the state and stage of the disease and the patient and that also should be well known from the science itself we can assess that so it is mentioned as anayacha matrayacha yuktam asmin vyadu evam vidasya purushasya edavandam dosham apagarshat upashame diva so it is first it should be known by its guna or action suppose action or effect in the body also it has to be known that anayacha matrayacha yuktam its dose dose is to be determined by with scientific wisdom itself that science has to be assessed 
uh, scientifically the subject has to be assessed and dose of that medicine or herbal preparation is to be determined asmin vyadhu evam vidhasya purushasya edavandam dosham apagarshayadi upashame diva status of the patient status of the disease at that each and every time it it will differ so that has to be assessed and this is the nature of action is explained with rasa panchaga nature and action both are comprehended from the science itself and it is explained with rasa panchaga siddhanta and not based on chemical constituents so only intended action will happen that is the intended action means which will be acting against the cause and mechanism and finally producing health that is the intended action it is not benefits and risks that we are intended to thus simply studying the impact of the chemical constituents of a herb or formulation in a subject is not at all considered as a research and the results obtained by that inductive approach is the effect of erroneous administration and is not ayurvedic science based so why it is happening also is or this unintended harmful effects how it is happening is also explained in ayurvedic science vijnadam chapi duryuktam anarthaya upapadyate it is mentioned specifically very specifically that vijnadam if you know the effects also if you, if it is not properly administered vijnadam chapi duryuktam anarthaya upapadyate unintended harmful effects will definitely develop it is not based on it's not medicine, medicine based science or treatment based science so that is ayurvedic research methodology is not followed in this study so it is utter wrong utterly wrong and second point i would like to highlight is heavy metal and herbal formulations heavy metal is not a herb and herb is not a set of heavy metals so that is the uh, major thing which one needs to understand a public or audience needs to understand that heavy metal is not herb and herb is not a set of heavy metals so a herb or formulation becomes a medicine when aptly chosen according to the principle there are so many principles laws which determine when to administer so according to the principle the medicine has to be chosen so medicine becomes medicine when it is aptly chosen only and is to be administered in a patient in right mode in right dose in right manner and in right time according to the status of that subject to reverse the cause mechanism of that disease it is mentioned as samya prayogam sarvesha siddhi rakhyadi karmana <clears throat> so studying the toxicity of a herb or formulation by simply administering to a subject in a dose fixed by the researcher so researcher uh, who is Uh, not only acquainted with ayurveda or ayurvedic science is fixing the dose that is highly unscientific as per ayurvedic science <clears throat> as medicine is not administered in healthy subjects also so when a medicine is determined it is according to the disease status so medicine administered in a healthy subject or in any disease or in any disease status indiscriminately is highly unscientific <clears throat> and heavy metals are present in well water also so in villages people in people living in villages are depending on this well water so all the villages should have died by liver damage or lung damage or kidney damage and all the villages should have become desolated <clears throat> that's not happening because heavy metals are not the chemical constituents are not deciding it is the rasa panchaga that decides rasa panchaga siddhanta that decides the effect and the response is based on the subject status or the subject status is the comorbidities or immune status his uh, constitution phenotype and so many other factors which is mentioned in our science which has to be assessed with the principles mentioned in our science so third point is subject status is very very important all individuals are having all different organs but their functioning varies from individual to individual as their internal and external environments are highly variable 
isn't it all are having all organs but all organs are not functioning uniformly because they are having different internal environment as well as external environment thus individuals are not alike when they respond to food water climate climatic changes or various activities their response is entirely different from each other so finally health certain symptoms are there that will be uniform but individuals vary from each other in so many aspects so the variable nature is also explained in the science with laws and principles how to determine what is wholesome or what is unwholesome for a subject or patient and how that subject responds to that particular factor in that status so both effect and response both are important so by assessing the aushadha we can know the effect that is going to be produced in that body and by assessing the status of the subject we can we will be able to know how that body is going to respond to that um, aushadha or herbal formulation all drunkards or binge alcoholics or smokers are not getting afflicted by disease or disease condition as expected invariably in all it's not happening that itself gives inference that effect of alcohol is not response to alcohol so effect and response are different it depends on the subject status and fourth one more point i would like to uh, project or give emphasis is scientific research, scientific research in ayurveda is not based on hypothesis science explains herbs and their formulations based on their action on the body so it's not like with chemical constituents it's explained it's with rasa panjaga siddhanta and not based on chemical composition this explains the behavior of a herb when it interacts with the body so it is very well mentioned in the science so it's not a hypothesis this theorem it is theorem theorem means established cause effect relationship helps to identify herbs based on their active components inside the body not active principle outside the body and the action it will impact on various physiologies okay so a constituent present in whatever quantity in a herb as part and parcel of that herb is entirely different from that isolated constituent if you take out that active principle it will be a different dravya it will be a different substance so you cannot assess what effect it is going to produce in the body also constituent need not be act be an active component inside the body when it is applied when it is administered that active component may not be active inside the body and this could be explained with genotype and phenotype though many genes are present expression of genes happen only to certain genes in that unique environment of the individual so just like that a herb could never be studied in vitro outside the body with merely identifying certain constituents in it that is 100% wrong choosing a medicine by assessing all the variables is so much confusing even to a learned physician so by making a hypothesis so which is inductive study inductive study is making first uh, a hypothesis is made without any scientific basis a hypothesis is made and um, invariably to all the medicine which is supposed to have that effect is given to all uh, irrespective of their body status or disease status it is given and observational data is collected and they will be making falsifiable theories so which is 100% wrong 110% wrong in ayurveda it is total stupidity from scientific perspective of ayurveda acharya um, explains this re- repeatedly that yoga ma samti yo vidyat desha kala desha matra kalopapadidam desha kalopapadidam purusham purusham vikshya sajnya yo kisha uttama so yoga ma samtu vidya desha kalopapadidam is it so yogam is yoga is application 
వ్యాధి శరీరాద్ది అపేక్ష సమ్యక్ యోజన అపేక్ష జస్య బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది వ్యాధి స్టేటస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది శరీర స్టేటస్ అండ్ సమ్యక్ యోజన ఇన్ రైట్ డోస్ ఇన్ రైట్ మ్యానర్ ఇన్ రైట్ టైమ్ అప్లికేషన్ ఇస్ సమ్యక్ యోజన అపేక్ష జస్య దీస్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ది దేశ కాలోపాదితం అకార్డింగ్ టు ది స్టేట్ అండ్ స్టేజ్ ఆఫ్ ది సబ్జెక్ట్ పురుషం పురుషం వీక్ష్య యోగ మాసాం తు యో విద్య దేశ కాలోపాదితం పురుషం పురుషం వీక్ష్య సజ్ఞేయో ఫిషక్ ఉత్తమ సో సచ్ ఫిషక్ క్యాన్ ఓన్లీ రివర్స్ ఎ డిసీజ్ అండ్ హీస్ సుపీరియర్ టు అదర్ వైద్యాస్ అండ్ ఇన్ మెనీ ప్లేసెస్ సంయోగ సంయోగం చ ప్రయోగం చ యో వేద స ఫిషక్ గొర సో హీస్ ఏ స్టాండర్డ్ ఆర్ హై క్లాస్ ఫిజిషియన్ ఫిషక్ if he knows samyoga and prayoga application application is not mere administration based on hypothesis also shastram jyoti prakashartham darshanam buddhi ratmanah tapyam phishak suyut suyukta apyam chikilsan na paradhyadi so not just based on the effects mentioned in the signs you have to apply your yukti based on the uh, patients status or disease status you have to apply your yukti yukti is scientific wisdom the principles you have to apply perfectly and you have to do the treatment then only it will be infallible also vaidya if one has to get designation he should be knowing prayoga jnana vijnana siddhi siddha sukha prada jeevitha apisara stesyur vaidyatvam teshu avasthitam prayoga jnana vijnana you should have scientific knowledge and applied knowledge jnana is scientific knowledge and vijnana is applied knowledge one should have both these then only that um, treatment what is called treatment or ayurvedic research if you want to do also you have to follow these things which are mentioned in our ayurvedic science so these are the four points i would like to give us clarification to this today i saw one video of an ayurvedic faculty renowned ayurvedic faculty trying to disprove dr ab study dr ab philip study by exploring the flaws in that research paper that's also ignorance of ayurvedic research methodology ayurvedic community doesn't know how much superior with established theorems our ayurvedic sciences than western <coughs> research methodology having falsifiable theories so if you disprove also tomorrow it can be proved as again that itself with the modern research methodology <coughs> or western research methodology if you try to disprove again that is not valid because it can be falsified afterwards that is approved by the uh, a committee of that period <coughs> according to their um wisdom or intelligent limitations they are assessing that study and approving that or if it is published in a peer reviewed journal also <coughs> it is not applicable or it is not correct in um ayurvedic science so community is unable to ayurvedic community is unable to say boldly that this study is such a stupidity and disprove it with scientific ayurvedic research methodology that is what is to be done and um, it is high time that ayurvedic research methodology <coughs> has to be inter- introduced in curriculum as well as in research and clinical practice thank you all